everybody. This is Miss Shadow Lovely, and this is my bestest Godzilla buddy, Rain, from Morg Humor. Uh, and I have bamboozled her <laughs> into eating some weird stuff with me. There's not much more to say about that than it is what it is. Uh, there's no explanation for the Halloween decorations behind us other than that they were there, so why not? Or the Kigus. Or the Kigurumi. Yeah, this was supposed to be a super serious thing, and here we are. Mistakes were made. Mistakes Bad. are going to be made. As, Bad attitudes. <laughs> Bad attitudes as, all this. As this progresses, it's just going to get worse and worse, so buckle up. So, I am working with a super awesome company called Universal Yums. And they have sent me a universal yum box, uh, which means they have sent me a nifty little box with snacks from a random country of their choosing. And uh, I got Russia! That's indicated by these very festive streamers. Wait, oh, these aren't streamers. They're just, I'm sure, just packing materials. But Russia! I think that those are Russia's colors, right? Like... They are now. <laughs> wait, so wait. Which one is? <laughs> I thought Rush. Wait, no. I thought like legit. I thought Russia's flag was like the red one with the sickle. <laughs> is that's, that not that's, Russia's? That's Soviet. Soviet Russia. Is that like not good <laughs> Russia? <laughs> it or... Depends on your perspective. <laughs> Some say that would be the good Russia. So the good Russia has the, <laughs> the red, white, and blue, and the bad Russia is the one that I know, apparently. Vladimir Putin approved. The one that I was least looking forward to, uh, that's this, that's this guy right here. You can hold that up, show all those lovely people at home. Mm. That is, and I quote, three Korochiki holodets and horseradish. And the description of that, right there, is these crispy breadsticks are flavored with holodets and horseradish. Wait up. Let's stop there. What the heck are holodets? Is that really what it says? It is. I am reading this word for word. I can't wait. No, it's good that you're opening that. Uh, uh, can you smell it? <laughs> that, is, that is rowdy. I don't want it. Ugh. Are they like cubes? They look like Gordetto things. <laughs> but those are good though. <laughs> These don't. Uh, they smell like. They're really hard. They look like croutons. It smells like. <laughs> it smells like something, but I can't. I don't know what it is. Oh my god. Is it bad? I'm afraid to put it in my mouth. It. It's like when you have like cold beef stew and it has like that layer of fat on top. That's what it tastes but like. But it's crunchy and a little and bit sour. This did you get the sour at the end? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that's what it tastes and smells like. Why it's do you crunchy and soup. Ah, uh, the sour. Why the do you sour say it like that? <laughs> the sour got me at the end. This one is a very uh similar to our first little item. Okay, these actually have the exact same ingredients <laughs> listed on the back. So <laughs> what makes them taste what makes different? Them, like, what makes them taste different? It's literally the exact same ingredients, like word for word. This one I is don't... also three korochiki. Three Ooh. of them. Three korochiki. Salmon and cheese flavor. Because <sighs> th that couldn't have been any worse. Let's just throw some salmon in there and see where it goes. It smells very cheesy. It's not that bad. <laughs> I kind of like this one. <laughs> let's, let's, these have been, these, these have looked like, these have been my favorite from the get-go since I opened this, this. Is that a cat riding a motorcycle? It is a cat. No, it's actually, I believe it's Timo from League of Legends or oh. something similar. So it's like cheese curls, but without cheese and instead coated in vanilla. So this should oh. actually be a pleasant... A pleasant endeavor for well, all like the worst thing, thing out of all of it. Look at them. That's really sweet. I would eat those for like a day. Oh, yeah, no, it's no. like they're like Cheeto puffs, but they taste like corn pops. Like corn pop cereal? Mm -hmm. Remember? Oh, 
Remember once upon a time when Cheetos thought they would do something clever and made Sweetos? Like those cinnamon flavored Cheetos and they were awful? When was that? This recently, I think. Really? Yeah, they didn't do well, hence why you don't see them anymore. But that is like a much, much better executed version of that idea. <laughs> Skazochny strawberry mini sponge cake. And it's super cute, and it just looks like a little cake, a little cupcake full of strawberries. Watch, we're gonna open it. It's gonna smell like fish. <laughs> it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna have a weird meat dust on it. Mm. The inside actually looks like just like strawberry jam, so that's very sweet. That's a crap ton of sugar. <laughs> that's a lot of sugar. It even feels like you just stuck like nothing but granulated sugar in there. Yeah, like it's weird. It doesn't have the texture of like a cake. It's more just like a, a thick sugar slurry with some strawberry jelly in it. But it was obviously baked to some degree. Yeah, this guy, because that last thing wasn't sweet enough. So this thing, feel how heavy that is, first of all. Just hold that in your hand what for a second. Hell? Yeah, this is Tula gingerbread with La Conca. Tula honey And it's, it's honey bread. Kind of. It is quite yeah. dense. It is like, it's maybe five or six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to wash it down with those salmon cakes. This thing is so dense. By the way, remember, it had cute little writing on it. It's hard. I'm gonna be chewing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could like sit there and eat a whole one of these. This is like you take it to work with you when you're working like overtime. <laughs> this is something you eat to survive, not for fun. Yeah, exactly. It's like the cinnamon challenge, but without, <laughs> the, without stupidity. the stupidity. A red October toffee crepe, crepe, crepish, crepish. You might not love the Kremlin, but one thing's for sure, it's hard not to love their candy. Do they really go there? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last line in the description. There's like a super long description in the last one. You may not like the Kremlin, but you're gonna you love this. You're gonna love their caramel. It's a thin little caramel Once bar. Once again, it's like a dense. <laughs> it's, it's very dense. It's like the consistency of a power bar. <laughs> Well, there's one thing for sure. I don't like the Kremlin. <laughs> Makes my soul hurt. We're not even into the bag of candy yet. Oh no. Ella homie right there. Just staring into your soul. Dear God! <laughs> <laughs> the scariest looking child I've ever seen in my life. The identity of the girl has remained unknown with rumors swirling that it was Stalin's daughter. Oh. A reclusive Russian nun. Or the daughter of a famous photographer. Like Don't make me eat the dirt. <laughs> Please. It's all messed up. Oh, it's soft. I was gonna Damn. It was very soft. Three Musketeers. It is a Three Musketeers. Except that's better than a Three Musketeers. Yeah. <clears throat> Karofka baked milk wafers with chocolate glaze. I like wafers and chocolate. Oh no. Oh no? Others oh, no. would simmer milk in the oven for eight hours, which fermented the milk and killed off any bacteria. Well, Russians may not have acquired a taste for the frog milk. It awesome. says that. It says that in here. They did develop a love for the creamy, caramelized, burnt milk concoction. It's frog milk. I hate nothing in the world more than I hate frogs, so. It tastes like that one, the scary baby one, but crunchy. It tastes like cream cheese. <laughs> I do like cream cheese. I like cream cheese too. I just didn't expect it to taste like cream cheese. A crunchy cream cheese. Cream cheese, by definition, should not ever be crunchy. Well, it's creamy, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we get to the bag of candy. Cause oh. all these sweets weren't enough. Rot front, like R-O-T, rot front chocolate vanilla candy. Mmm. Oh no. It's like a very large and ill thought out Tootsie Roll. Oh no. Oh. It's got a very weird texture, similar to Play-Doh. Oh god, <laughs> it just crumbled. I don't like it. I don't like it. It tastes like pencil erasers. <laughs> I can't taste anything. <laughs> it tastes like pencil erasers. How do you know what pencil erasers taste like? I don't, but if they, if I had eaten one, I imagine it, it tastes These similar to this. These are weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Were we supposed to mix it with something? I don't know. Oh, people ate them when food supplies were down. Okay, that's good to know. Mikado chocolate covered apricot with walnut. This sounds like it's gonna be great in theory, 
But it's probably gonna be awful. What? 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 Uh. <laughs> oh, it's a walnut. I thought it was a seed. Oh, I bit into a seed. I was about to be angry. This is a, a really poor choice of textures. I like it. It tastes delicious. Oh, good. This just sounds like all the worst things that your grandma tries to feed you rolled into mm -hmm. one. Rusco chocolate with sunflower seeds and cranberry. <laughs> grandma was like, what can I put in this chocolate to make it unappetizing? Was this a treat too back in the day? Oh, I saw yours and was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to finish biting down on it. It looks so bad. I like chocolate. I like sunflower seeds. <laughs> And I like cranberries. But this isn't even thoughtfully put together. <laughs> this, is, this is awful. This is just a roll of like, they were just like, put them all together. Feed them to the kids. Tell them it's candy. I've been looking forward to this one for a good while. Uh, as soon as I got the box and opened this in red, I was super excited about this one. Orange fruit jelly. What? Look at this guy. Look how look how big he is. It's like a pineapple. It's like a huge. It's just I can feel. It's just one giant jelly orange. It's heavy. It's like a whole orange. It's like a giant gummy. But it's a jelly. If Sheep. we open it, it's full of seeds. I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> it's just like a salmon bomb. I feel basically. like I was dealt a short straw by oh being God. given the Russian this box. This is adorable. It's so it's cute. Adorable. Oh man, does it, oh can you pull it apart I like actual it apart, like slices? An actual Look how cute. Oh my god. Ah. 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 That's delicious. It's like those little Halloween, not Halloween, like Christmas gummies my mom makes. Yeah, but better. They're like those orange slice gummies, but like they're a way better texture. They're like actual gummy bears. Mm -hmm. And like the sugar on the outside is like real sugar instead of being like that weird sugar that's on the outside of those ones that come in the bag. It's like kind of powdery. This makes up for that seed blog. This makes up for everything. <laughs> These are just old people hard candies. It's black currant flavored. Oh, it's white. Oh, wait, they're chewy. Never mind. It's white? It's white. And it's supposed to be chewy. Wait, is yours chewy? Is it chewy? Or maybe it's got like the filling on the inside. They it's are like those white. little strawberry candies. <gasps> like the ones you can't ever find to buy, but your grandma always has. Yeah. They're hard. Ooh, they are chewy. It's delicious, though. Oh, yeah, they are. It's weird. But it's not like. It's not like a good. Okay. It's weird. Good. It's a weird chewy. It's like. The texture is starting to get really bad. Yeah, like, it's like when you start chewing up something that wasn't meant to be chewed up, like a, like a Tootsie Pop, and you get all that grittiness from the hard part of the candy mixed with, like, the bubble gum inside. Not a blow pop, not a Tootsie Pop, I'm stupid. But you know what I'm saying, where it's, like, gritty, yeah. gritty and chewy. Like, you're like, I shouldn't be eating this, but because it's gritty, I feel like I should swallow it even though it's bubble gum. But the taste was okay. <laughs> Compared to the rest of the stuff, that one was pretty okay. Everything was so sweet. That was an experience. Mm. Uh, the carnage laid out in front of me. But it was a lot of fun. Uh, and there's a hint on the back as to the next box. I don't know if this is for like my next box or you guys' next box if you sign up. But it says, Far, far away lies the emerald of the equator. Now independent, the Dutch were once their invader. They left behind a legacy of many good eats, ginger cookies, chocolates, and barley mint sweets. Aruba? <laughs> Aruba. <laughs> Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take. <laughs> well, not all of this was necessarily my cup of tea, or anyone with a normal palate. It was a lot of fun, uh, so be sure to click the link in the description. That'll be hopefully down there somewhere hopefully assuming this video renders correctly uh, and sign up for your own universal yums box and get you one of these boxes from another cool country that hopefully isn't full of fish jelly cubes and hopefully you'll have a good time just trying all this stuff and it won't be leftovers from the Cold War or have pictures of Joseph Stalin's daughter on it. Thank you for bearing with us. I'm gonna go get my stomach pumped. <laughs> Just in time for Halloween. <laughs> 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 I 
that's a good note to end this on, I think. I think that's a good note to end this on. Have a lovely day.